What's up guys, it's your boy Jameka here coming at you with another deck tech. This is my first deck for Season 24. It's Black White Angels. Uh, there was a user uh, named, uh, I'm going to mess up their name, Jace Arduin, but they loved Angels. They played a bunch of Angels. I think actually won a tournament with Angels, but their Angels were like derpy. They aren't like great. I think like the best one is maybe like Angel Jubilation, something like that, or like Angel of Sanctions. I probably should be playing in this deck, but <laughs> now there's like good angels. I would say that 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 means Bane Slayer, Lyra Dawnbringer. These are awesome. This is like the OG like good angel, and then like Lyra came around. I was like, no, sit down. I I am here now. But now they're together in Penny Dreadful. So why not make a deck with a bunch of five drops and try to just see what happens? You know, um. We're playing black because I want to splash for this card here. So let's just go over. Let's just go over everything. Let's just start from the top, work our way down. Finally, um, Orzov actually has some good mana. Uh, where mana is not that good this season, but Isolated Chapel is one of the few dual lands that's legal. That's like untapped duels rather. And then Shandling Vent's always a solid creature, probably like top five of like uh creature creature lands that have been legal. But it's definitely up there. It's definitely pretty good. Uh, Iganjo Castle is a one of just because uh, I've got a couple of legends, only like four legends in here, but you know, never hurts. It's pretty much a free land with the uh, all the other planes and some swamps here. Uh, the early game, this deck is basically a mid range deck that really wants to bridge, get to the late game of just dropping five drops and trying to kill your opponent. So you got Wall of Omens, which is pretty good. It's a cantrip, you know, kind of blocks the early game. Heartless Act, a couple of early removal spells. Ors of Signet, just to help you bridge the gap between. Two and four or five rather, so gotta play a couple of these. Uh, always watching. I really like actually with the uh, Verge's Re Retribution, uh, just having vigilance. You be able to attack, and then when the the second sort of a uh, saga lore, I, I forget chapter something chap thing. The second thing triggers, then you don't have to like choose to tap. Well, some of the creatures already have vigilance, but just having your creatures have vigilance already is pretty decent. It's not really a combo with the uh, Angel Dimension with the uh, Fabricate triggers, but I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Vindicate's a good catch-all. Just a good catch-all kind of removal spell. Takes out anything that annoys you. I'm sorry, it's a bit slow, but I mean, it's Vindicate. I think I kind of have to run it if I'm in a black-white sort of build. Ritual Sith's a really, like, good wrath for this deck you don't want to kill your own creatures if you have very few so um you're really only worried about small creatures it does kill your wall of omens but like who cares they're just there to block but i like ritual a lot. i've liked ritual ever since it's been printed i think it's just been like getting better and better especially look with how like efficient creatures are becoming so ritual is just a good sort of like four mana one sided wrath for this deck so yeah virgin's revolution retribution rather really good card makes an angel and then just has another like removal effect and then a double strike thing is interesting i'm, I'm gonna try to use that as sort of like a win con um hopefully i can just like kill all the flyers and just kind of get through when, when choosing like the other angels to play other than bane slayer lyra um i think i, I thought there's a lot of different choices i think like seraph of scales was a choice voice of all was a choice I, but i'm going with like legion angel it's got like good stats and um, also, it's kind of a grinder. It basically draws a card, which is another angel in the sideboards. You kind of have to like play a couple in the sideboards just to kind of run this. But I think it's actually good enough. It's you know it's pretty decent. It's kind of like Squadron Hawk esque, but you know I think it's okay. A uh, Shly is the other uh, choice I like. Just protects all your other creatures. Um, I'm never gonna activate the ability, but just getting Hexproof is kind of randomly good. There's like there could be like random storm back, something like that. I'm actually not sure what is actually like good right now um this is actually the day after um well this is friday when i'm recording this this is the first day of the new season so i've looked at a couple lists there's like one five oh so far at the time of this recording but a lot of lists are just basically very new like this list i haven't played a single game of this i'm just talking about it right now but yeah shalai's just a randomly good card you know and it's an angel so you know fits the theme and now we're here at the five drops here. Angel Prevention, Bane Slayer, Lyra. They're basically all like Bane Slayers in a weird way. I mean, the OG is like, I gotta I gotta play. I was like hooked on it. Like, I gotta play Bane Slayer. I have to. I don't know why. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make it good. Angel Prevention, basically just another sort of like anthem effect with Lyra. So it's not a legend, so you can play multiples of them. 
has you know fabric it's not bad you can go wide um if you need a block on the ground or just get tall with the angel of invention um good stats too i mean it's like a four three for five it, it does stuff it's fine lyra's pretty great i think the first strike's the best part of it i mean with the other like main slayer too and then it pumps the other angels so it's a reason to have a ton of angels in play and then brave the elements is we're gonna have down here but it's i think it's only really good in this deck as an overrun so if you can ever like kind of like combo off the third sort of chapter in the saga and then with the brave elements you can kind of just like overrun your way to victory so i'm hoping that will work out not really sure maybe i just have like white weenie hangover from last the last 500 but i like brave bones every creature is white in the deck so it just makes sense to play it uh, sideboard, very, very much a mishmash of just stuff. Obviously, the Legion Angels to comp of the Legion Angels. Grindy elements here. Unburial Rites, Duress, uh, Mind Shatter. Duress mostly for, like, control. Mind Shatter can come in against control, but it's also just got randomly fun, just, like, uh, card against Mitra. I think, like, the, the, the format's a bit slower. I, mean, I don't know of any real combo decks outside of maybe, like, an Oops All Spells list, so I do have a bunch of, like, Silent Gravestones and Ashes of the Abhorrent, which are really good against that sort of thing, but Unbearable Rights is another, like, grindy card, just, you know, when your deck is kind of just based around these random creatures, just having a recursion effect is really nice. And then some extra removal here, more Heartless Axe, and uh, another Ritual, so just for the smaller creature decks. Uh, again, I'm not really sure what's going to be good, but I hope this deck's going to be good, because we're going to play this a league, so five rounds of the new season, so we're going to check it out and see what everyone's up to. Let's do it. All right, got to match the uh, Penny Dreadful Black White Angels list. Um, I'm going to keep. I'm going to draw. Maybe I just draw out of this. I do have Indicate, so maybe it's good. Ooh, another Orzhov Gamer. All right. I see your Isolate Chapel and Raise you the Shambling Mint. Watching is a good draw, just kind of something random to do. Turn three. Oh, they're playing Mardu. Okay. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. What could happen here? I don't know. Okay, there's... Ooh, it's my girl. This is a good curve, riding up to this. Vindicate, always watching Bane Slayer. That's got to be good, right? That's got to be good. Ooh, Dragon Skull Summit. This guy's like always going to be legal, I think. All right, Ragavan. <laughs> the, the fair Ragavan, not the uh, the modern staple Ragavan now. I'm gonna. Ha I think I have to vindicate this thing. Once something crazier pops up, signal pest. Okay. Okay, this is a very interesting deck. Actually, I think I have to kill the signal pest now. It actually puts out the most damage. Ooh, Furge's Revolution is actually not bad. It's a good blocker here. Now I have a pretty reasonable curve. Let me think. Um, actually, if I kill the carry though. It's like less, I guess it's like less damage. Yeah, maybe I just kill the carries up. Because, like, just a menace. They're maybe it's like a menace deck. Huh, that'd be funny. I'm gonna kill the carries up, actually. I think on this, on its own, Signal Pest is not good because I have a billion flyers in my deck. But the Virgin's Revolution should be pretty decent. It, it, it's just gonna shoot probably like Nicholas Safe Siphoner. Because I just go for like Bane Slayer. Like, I go Furges and the Bane Slayer. I think it should be great. Hell Rider. That's a hell of a card. But again, Fringe Revolution is pretty decent against it. But this is a lot of triggers. They might be able to nug me out. Let's see. I mean, this is a lot of damage. So. Mm. Ritual Sim would be not bad, I guess. It's kind of nice two for one. I think I have to play the Revolution here. And hopefully I just don't die. Re retribution. I'm going to say that. Like, just drink every time I say Revolution. Don't. If you're of age, of course. <laughs> drink a drink an apple juice if you're not of age. Every time I say Revolution or Retribution. Drink responsibly. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is tough. This might be a little rough. If they play another Hellrider, I just die on the spot. Um, if they have a removal spell here, it's going to be pretty bad. Ishin to heavens. Oh gosh. That's good for them. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
So yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> so dead. Hellrider in the Ishid. That's that's the sauce. I love it. I love it. Okay. I love it. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's Penny Dreadful. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We got I gotta bring in some more removal. Because that's not cutting. <laughs> Alright, let's bring in all of this. Um I still actually like the Fringe of Retribution. I mean, it just makes a thing and just it'll just kill my opponent. I just need to live. That's all you do. I need to just live. That's all I need. Does Hellrider, does it stop Hellrider? I actually don't know. I think, I don't think it's a target. I'm not sure. You know what would have been great? A great angel? Um... That I should have like learned about is uh Guardian Seraph. Guardian Seraph would have been so good for this. It's a if a source an opponent controls would deal damage, you prevent one of that damage. And like Hellrider is a single trigger. So Hey, I, I wish I played Guardian Seraph. I'm gonna uh, maybe cut the Legion Angels. They're kinda of a bit slow. I kinda of just need like I just need stuff to do. Um uh, and maybe I cut like a Lyra. Or maybe no, this is really good. Maybe I just cut a Lyra randomly. I don't know. I am kind of like getting it. Let me cut a. I need, I need something to come back. I'll cut a always watching. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, I need a Guardian Seraph. There's honestly a lot of angels that could be like considered here. I just kind of threw this together. I just want to play with uh, the Fergus Retribution. I thought that was a pretty good, cool card. I'm going to keep his hand. Wall of Omens is a good start. This is actually pretty... Re if I just keep drawing lands, I think it'll be fine. A 5-drop. This is sick. That's, I love that. It's good to see the new cards getting played. That's what you like to see in the beginning of the season. Just like everyone just trying everything. So, I love it already. Right. Also, the mana doesn't seem terrible. Okay. Wall of Omens, save me. Alright. Fourth land is good. Okay, there's a Bane Slayer, so I'd like to draw another land in the Retribution. That'd be kind of nice. Thornbow Archer. <laughs> oh, what is... oh, that's so funny. Um, yeah, let's just all of omens again. Okay, a lot of retributions. Luckily, they're not legendary, so I can just start pumping out angels here. Oh, Tapland aggro, <laughs> another sort of thing. <laughs> okay, um, I might have to vindicate something, but no, I think the retribution will be fine. Even they play the Ishin here, it's like, oh, I forgot to pull up. It's kind of so stupid. What am I doing? I'm just like clicking at random. I'm just like clicking things randomly. I don't know. Okay. I'm thinking faster than I'm playing. So, I don't know. I need to slow it down a second. So this could like shoot something. I could like attack with the vigilance and then like kill something. Okay. Uh, big threat here. Nothing's really threatening. If I draw a ritual, it's going to be amazing. Actually, it kills my angel token, actually. Okay. Um, let's see. I gotta play this signet here. I think, so I can just drop a blank Bane Slayer. Till the end of turn. So I have to do this now. Attack. Um, this is a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna have to shoot the signal pest here. Can't wait to plop this Bane Slayer and get Hellrider into Oblivion. Okay. I missed the land drop. Sparring Regimen. When you use the battlefield, learn when you attack. The plus one. Okay. Is this just like one trigger? Or do you get like a trigger for each attacker? We'll find out. Okay, so it's just one time. OK, 
Okay. If I, if I lose by one here, I'm gonna really lose it. Because I've got the block with my wall elements. Okay, um, okay. This would be pretty great if I ever had a Baneslayer in play. I could play another Retribution and shoot two things next turn. I think it's like a kind of a better sort of deal because it, it still make the thing, but this has lifelink. If they hellrider me, it's gonna be really bad regardless. So maybe I just play the thing. All right, let's let's get her down. Next turn, I can just always watching and just I mean it'll just only really affect. Actually, I mean always watching will start like killing these things with the wall of omens. This is actually lethal. I mean, this is a lethal attack in the air, so they've got to deal with that. Okay. Not really threatening anymore. They have a Bane Slayer Angel. This is a Hell Rider. That's, that's pretty good, but I mean, I think he gets eaten here. I think you just get to eat it. This is a ton of triggers. Do I die? I don't. I, don't, I think I might lose by one here. Oh, I don't know. They didn't do the math. I didn't do the math either. But three, two. I I think the lifelink's gonna help help me here. Um. Okay. Yeah, the life like I just life like I gain I go to eight and I just take whatever. I don't really take a lot. <laughs> okay. I think they they figured they thought they could just kill me that way. I don't know. Retribution wasn't that bad there. That was pretty good. Um I don't think this is actually necessary. I might actually want to just play all the creatures. At least like the first angel gets the rest of them, so it's not that bad. Okay, let's let's run let's roll with this. Let's see what happens. See, Baneslayer are good. If I hadn't played a Baneslayer, I would have died actually. So, Baneslayer are good. Um, I'm gonna keep, I guess. I do have the orders of Zenith to help with the Parlous Act. I'm on the draw, so maybe I just draw like the tap land again. Nice duress. Probably takes the signet or the probably takes a signet. It's actually a really good hit here. It's a bit unfortunate. They took the Furge's ret retribution. I almost I almost said it there. Okay. Ganjo Castle. Hopefully they did. Well, they can't. There's no way they play something like Prize of Progress, which is legal this season. Okay, no, no, no creatures. I like it. I'm, I'm in love with this. All right, Ors off Signet, go. Now I my Heartless Act and Vindicator online. I mean, if there are the issues, it gets vindicated like immediately. Sky Knight Vanguard. Um. I think I just kill this, right? Yeah. I'll use my expensive spell here. And then plop a Bane Slayer, then it can go always watching this, I guess. As long as I don't have a good board, it's fine. Hellrider is okay. I'm just going to play Bane Slayer. Hopefully, they just don't have a thing to kill it immediately. <laughs> I'm going to play this. Alright, Bane Slayer. Please don't kill my angel. What is this? Oh, well, that's not a big deal. <laughs> um, it really isn't a big deal. Okay, always watching. I'm actually going to vindicate the Hellrider here.
Okay, I lose two, but I'm going to gain six, so I'm totally fine with that. This is not the card I was thinking about. Does it work with Ishin? I don't even know how Ishin reads. <laughs> Technically, I can't kill this with this. Okay, well, they're going to concede. Baneslayer, good. Did it. One one match out. <laughs> Baneslayer, good. We decided that. They drew a lot of lands. That's unfortunate. Oh, right, another match to pay. Dreadful Black White Angels list. Uh, this is a lot out. Always watching. So we'll keep, I guess. I have good mana, so I feel like I should keep. Okay. Sulfur Falls. Finally, some good lands here. Alright. PD All Star Ponder here. You were rolling. Hmm. So there might be a game for Bravey Elements. I'm not really sure. I, I kind of need a creature at some point. Watch your uh the retribution with the always watchings. So funny. I could vindicate a land. That'd be kind of greedy, I feel like. I feel like it's a super greedy play. So I think I'll just play the always watching here. Something tells me it's ritual of sin is not gonna be good. They've only casted spells, so maybe nuking a land is good. I don't really know. I feel like I might die soon. Okay, I'm gonna nuke a land. I'm actually gonna nuke this fumeral. I have nothing really better to do with my mana. Love the resolve of Vibe Drop. That'd be kind of nice. Ooh, the Shadow Bank gets uh, Vigilance here. That's actually kind of good. Um, yeah. Speaking of which, I guess I just come in. It could be Control, maybe. I don't know. Oh, interesting. Um, okay, well. I'm going to be a bunch of always watchings, I think. Uh, maybe I'll just play one. Who knows? Is it going to get countered? Memory lapse, okay. Maybe there are some sort of control deck. Cruise. Uh, okay. Maybe there's some sort of combo deck. I don't really have a lot against combo. I have the duress and like the mind shatter because mind shatter isn't really good against treasure cruise. I don't really know. I think I'm just keep attacking with the Shambling Man. I think it's like the best thing. Because also it just like helps me keep like... I don't know. My hand seems really bad. <laughs> You're the fourth always watching. Um... keep attacking. I think it's the best route to victory here, instead of just, like, playing things at random. Ooh, 
Ooh, swans. Maybe they are. Hmm. So maybe the target attack is good. Lightning Storm is an instant. Um, if they have like a Simeon Spirit Guide, they could just like chain a plasma. So I kind of want to wait, right? I think I'm supposed to wait, but if they untap and have like a counter spell, it's like really bad, you know? <laughs> I think it's like really bad here. I am at 26. Isn't that enough life? I really don't know. I think I, I know I'm not supposed to blink first. I think. <sighs> hmm. I don't know. Let me think for a minute. Um, I could just attack. I don't think they block. If they do block, I get to draw a bunch of cards. So let's just attack first. I'm gonna attack first and see what happens. I don't think I can really draw anything else though that like would help. Okay, I'm just gonna take it. I'm just going to pass. I really don't know what's going to happen here. I think I might be dead. I actually, I actually really do think I might be dead. Wish I had sudden, <laughs> sudden death here. Okay, they're gonna probe me again. Again, you can see the Heartless Act. Okay, they're going for the chain. I do have to like try here. I I'm pretty sure they have the counter spell. They wouldn't go for it. They didn't have a counter spell here. Alright, they have another chain. Alright. Maybe they just don't have enough lands. We'll see. Huh. Alright, so they're going to try to draw their deck here, and I think Lightning Storm is still legal, so... Kind of do something while they're. I guess, yeah, they're just like continually just not discarding. All right, so they have most of their deck in their hands. They need a couple of spirit guides here and enough lands. I don't have any lands in my hand, so I can't counter the lightning storm at all. Hmm. Can I copy this? Wait, do they dome me? Um. Wait. 
Um, Do I get the draw? I don't know how this works. Is this my copy? Okay, so now I can, like... Can I, like, build up lands now? Because <laughs> they hit me with that. So now, like, I have lands. Now I have two lands to try to counter this. Okay. I drew some lands, so maybe that might work out. Wait, turn off, turn off, turn off auto yields, turn off auto yields. Okay. I got two lands. I guess they have, like, one, like, they have a draw to just kind of, like, not do anything. I think they're just worried that they don't have enough lands to kill me. Because I'm at 26, so life gaining has been kind of relevant. So th they do have a turn to kind of just, like, hit me with another random spell or something. Okay, I guess they're just, I guess they're just mathing it. They would need, what is it? three. I think they just need to, like, hope that I didn't draw lands, which I kind of did. X plus three. So one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, do you need, like, what is it, eight counters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I could just let all these counters kind of resolve and then discard my card. I think. Oh. A lot of counters. Uh. Okay. They're just doing it again. I still have like prior I mean they may may just have enough lands. Okay, they're they're still doing it. They're not letting me respond to it. I haven't done anything yet. Okay, I will discard a land. And I will redirect. I will choose this opponent. Yeah, wait, choose a new target, yes. This one. They might they probably still have enough land to kill me. Okay. They have one more shot at this. Discard a land. Shalai's gonna be really good for this, I think. I think Shalai at section would be a great card for the side forty. <laughs> <laughs> Orange have enough lands. Orange just drew the land there. Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't like vindicate here. Actually, vindicate seems a bit slow. But a Carlos act, like duress here. I don't like ritual at all. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was just really funny. Mind chatter could be kind of fun, but they do have like um. They do have treasure crew, so it kind of just feels that. We'll see. I feel like Bravey Dawn was kind of saves Shalai, so I think Shalai is going to be a big deal in this matchup. The life gaining was actually a really big deal, too. That was really funny. So I kind of need to get these things online pretty quickly. This kind of makes me wish I had Scroll of Avacyn in my deck. They should have shot me, but I think they had to shoot me in order to get to the damage. That was funny. Um... Let's just try this.
Um, sure. All star here, shambling event. Here to save the day. Also, I have a thing. I have a thing to kill a swan, so. Okay, lands look good. That's always a good sign when your lands kind of just look good here. The mana is just kind of here. Thought scours himself. A little probe and a land. Okay, consider. Discard the channel plasma. You got it. Probe me. No second land? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm going to play the signet. Ponder. Let's say that was insane if they kept a one lander. I guess they had enough like manipulation. It's kind of scary to thought scour yourself and they had an evolving wild. I think that was on top. I want to say that was on top, but. Okay. I'm slamming these angels, by the way. Yeah, wall of omens. I don't know. They play another land here and then another. Like, they'd have to have like double spirit guide, and then like. No, there's no way they can go off. I think. I don't know. They didn't have a land here and then another spirit guide. Like, they have all the spirit guides in their hand or something. It'd have to be like an insane sequence of cards. Sure. They could hit a land drop here. So, like, I think I, I think I have like full range to slam this Bane Slayer. Because even if they tap out for the Swans, they get the Heartless Act. Like, with. I think with like full impunity. That's even the right word to use in the situation. There's there's no downside, I think, from you slamming the Bane Slayer. Let's just kill it. <laughs> we can duress. I can duress next turn. I'm gonna slam Bane Slayer now. The life gain is really good, so if anything, I could like maybe like duress play the shambling vent or activate shambling vent attack. I don't think I have enough mana for all that. Duress. Well, I mean I do have the mana for it. All right, another cruise. This is a great time to duress. They let me untap a brave down once for my Bane Slayer, so they can't kill it. I mean, I guess Combust kills it because damage. I think Combust can't be prevented. Another probe. Actually, I guess like the the duress also see sees if I can just like play the Lyra, because then I could just like kind of just go at them with Lyra. And then they would just probably die. I think they would just die. So, let's hit him with the duress. I mean, their hand is juiced. They've cruised a million times. Okay, I think I just... I guess I just take the lightning storm, right? Yeah, I think I just take the lightning storm. Hmm. Could they give me just the one? Okay, yeah, and I attack. I don't know if they can win from there. Wow, that was that was a crazy match. Alright, got another match with the Pay Dreadful Black White Angels lists on the play. Ugh. Um I mean if I draw a black source, it's not bad. It's not a bad hand, but I really need to draw a black source. I think I can mulligan and just kinda like find something better. This is a bit better. I can keep. Hopefully I just draw any land now. Actually no, I have my mana. This is good. I pretty much have everything I kinda want here. Fifth land would be nice though. Fort Town. Fort Town's a great land to have back. All right, fifth land, so all the five drops are activated. The retribution will come from my opponent. I might just play Legion Angel just to kind of like air quotes draw a card for another angel. Not super bad, and then I can just kind of like 
attack for like eight next turn. Bant, huh? Ooh, Bane Slayer. Ooh, Bane Slayer. <laughs> I do love Bane Slayer. Um, I'm kind of short of just killing them on the spot with the Retribution. Miracle, huh? Banishing Stroke. It's not a good Banishing Stroke target on the Wall of Omens, but they probably just do it anyway. Just not to waste it. It's not a big deal, though. Probably could have waited for the uh, Surge's Retribution. Um. Yeah, let's go for it. Although Banshee Stroke is kind of annoying if they just stroke the creature. I was kind of worried about a Spell Pierce. Like, this is a lot of damage if I get the double strike. Aww. Aww. Search for his Ganta, okay. Well, I, I still maybe try to get the crunch in for like 10 here. I missed the land drop. I have it my 5 now. Here comes Big Mama here, Bane Slayer. I think I'd have another oust though, that'd be really annoying. Okay. Well, coming in. Hopefully you don't have Condemn. Condemn be really annoying. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Legion Angel. Go find another Legion Angel. Or like his mana leaked, I guess. Lose focus, that's fine. The Shadow Knights are about to go hard. They're about to go really hard here. I don't know. If they have another land, though, their Lumbering Pulse is pretty good. Kind of out of stuff, so this this main player just kind of needs to get there. Okay, I kind of like playing this. Okay. All right. They don't do anything else. This is not bad. Factor fiction in the turn. Okay, stroke brainstone. We're doing it. We're doing the brainstone. Um, I don't like brainstone because they maybe be able to trigger. I, so like terminus is legal. So they're playing some sort of like interesting miracles list. I actually don't like brainstone here. This is a tap land. So I'm gonna split these. I'm gonna split the fetch land here. I'm gonna do this. I think this is fine. Brainstorm seems like a crazy enabler for them. But they might not even time the brainstone. I don't know. They took the brainstone, actually. I'm not sure if they have enough time for that, but they get to flip the search. So maybe that's something that's worth it. They get another land, basically, which is a Lumbering Falls. For their Lumbering Falls, at the very least. Because they have the land anyway. Alright, they're just going to do this now. If they have an instant speed way to draw a card, then Terminus is, like, kind of a thing. Um... If it's just Stroke, then, I mean, I have double Shambling Vent, and I have the Swamp to activate them, but I think they're conceding here. Because they're probably Brainstone Locked. Okay. Brainstone Locked. That's a term I didn't think I'd say. Brainstone Locked. Okay. Arl's Act, not really great here. Ritual Sip, probably not really great. I'm going to bring in the Resses. I'm going to bring in the Mind Shatter. I kind of like Umbero Rights here. I think this might be an Umbero Rights game. We'll cut a couple of indicates, and we're just gonna call it a day here. This is the most basic deck, but I guess this is like where you can 
kind of feel better about yourself <laughs> with like some broods. Like, who knows? Who knows where the meta is going to shake out? But so far, I've had fun with just playing Bane Slayer and attacking with Pain Slayer. <laughs> That's all I've really done. This is a mulligan. Oh, uh, I like this hand. This hand's pretty decent. Uh, I'm gonna cut the land, I guess. It's hard to like set up the sort of miracle thing without a brainstorm, but I mean, brainstone is like the next best thing, you know. I think people like to complain about, oh, you know, we don't have this, can't do this. Well, it's not about pay dreadful. I say this all the time, pay dreadful is not about. What you don't have is what you have to work with. So the newer players have to get kind of get over it because, like you know, you're just kind of so used to certain things, certain formats. So I don't know. That's the beauty of Penny Dreadful. It's um how resourceful uh you can become. All right, I'm gonna slam this fours off signet. Just love the ramp here. I can just tap my mana right. But yeah, I mean. I think it separates like good players from not not great players. Where it's like instead of like complaining about things, you just kind of like you know pull up your bootstraps and just kind of get going, get to work. All right, I'm gonna leave with the rest here. Kind of uses all my mana. I might actually try to resolve the always watching. This is countered. It's fine. Okay, maybe we'll just play always watching. I'm loading up this Mind Shatter, though. This Mind Shatter is going to be pretty great. I wonder if Temporal Mastery is legal. Okay. Main Phase Brainstone. You'll love to see it. I wonder what good miracles are, other than Terminus and, I guess, Banishing Stroke. Okay, they're going to Ponder. I love it. Terminus, Banishment, Devastation Tide, okay, Thunderous Wrath, Blessings of Nature, Ridge of Impedited. If they are banned, so they could play probably, maybe they're playing Blessings of Nature, who knows? This would be interesting more of the Jeskai list, because you do have, like, um, Sulfur Falls, I don't know what the green is for. Alright, I mean, they like mind shattered the nonsense out of them this turn, they just have a white up, so. I think this is a mind shatter, yeah, I think I'm just gonna mind shatter them. It's only for three, but I think this is good enough. Random. All right, mind shatter you. Let's see what I get. Double Alice Floodplain. Okay. I'm actually surprised they didn't play the Floodplain. So not the Ponder. Maybe they pondered and shuffled. I didn't really look. To be fair. To be fair. Okay, they're going to stroke something. They do have targets, so they can stroke the always watching. That's totally fine. I'm gonna nuke this land. I'm gonna wait. Let me eat wall of omens first. Let's see. Let's wall. Okay, I can duress. Get a counter. Ooh, these are all pretty good cards. Uh, it's tough. I think I'll take the library and just nuke this land. Greedily nuke that land. So they have a Nissa in their hand. Okay, they missed. Any creature will do. Alright, I'll just duress away the Nissa. Okay. Any creature will do. I'll take anything. Okay, they drew a port town. Any five drop will do. Shalai is a great one. I wall moments has hexproof. Okay, fun pillow grove. Lyra's great. Ooh, always watching nice one. Well bah. <laughs> Maybe I should play like some sort of like tri land for this. No, I don't think I could. Wow, they're flooding. This is really bad. Terminus is Terminus at eight times pretty good. Um Ooh, Shambling Bat's a nice one. Shambling Bat Wall is watching some pretty great. But now they can't oust. Well, they can oust the Shalai. They can't really oust the Shambling Vent here. 
Uh, well, they could never oust it anyway. Ooh, did they did draw a Nissa. They drew a Nissa, I think. Oh, they drew a Dream Trawler. That's pretty good too. Hmm. Interesting. If we draw a Lyra. That'd be kind of kind of nice. <laughs> Okay, all right. But you're good, you're good. <laughs> all right, let's go, shall I? <laughs> all right. <laughs> the first strike, right? Okay, this is great. <laughs> Double Vigilance? No, it this doesn't have Vigilance. Brainstone, you got it. This might be a sick Brainstone, who knows? Actually, I mean, this Dream Trawler is getting big, but the Lyra does have a uh, Hexproof here and Vigilance and First Strike and Flying and Lifelink. So it's a lot. There's a lot of stuff on it. Okay. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> this is the called shot. You gotta get one called shot in the video. You gotta get at least one. All right, got another match with the uh, Penny Dreadful Angel List. I'm going to keep this hand. It's actually pretty good. A little bit of everything in this hand. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. They mulligan to five. It's not a good start for my opponent. Another Prairie Stream Gamer. I love it. Ooh, all the retributions. What is this? Okay, it's a 2 1 flyer. I think that's all that I really care about. I rule the skies here with the angels. It's not you. I guess I can target their own thing and draw a bunch of cards. That's interesting. So if they played something like that, okay. <laughs> oh my. That's a that's a big person. Oh gosh. Okay, this is not cool. Okay, I'd love to draw a Vindicate. That'd be nice. I mean, the Retribution's not bad at blocking for a bit, but ooh, this is scary. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to block for a bit. Which is totally fine. Unless they have a removal spell. They have a removal spell or like. Like, uh, God's Willing or something? Curiosity? Okay. I mean, hopefully you'll never hit me for a bit. <laughs> I hope you'll never hit me. Okay. Block. <laughs> I block. Okay, I block. This is the saddest second uh, saga here. Oh, gosh. Okay, um... I think I have to play the Angel here, make a bunch of tokens, and hopefully they just don't kill me in some way. Because I'm just chumping, so it doesn't really matter if I, fa uh, if I just uh, put it on the creature. So I'm just going to make servos. I think I would just kill this one thing, and they don't have, like, a God's Will. I mean, if they had a God's Will, like, I would have been dead already, right? So. Melitus Astronomer. That's pretty reasonable. Grip Spoon on this thing. Okay, they get to look at the top three. Another Curiosity. I like this. I like this. I like what's happening here. I don't like that it's happening to me, but I do like it is happening. <laughs> I do enjoy this. Okay, fly again. Come on, Vindicate. One time. And they're holding up one mana, so they could have like some sort of like. But again, if they had gods with me, they would have killed me. So I, I just guess. I just don't think they have it. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna shoot this. Hopefully they just don't have another thing here. I mean, they have spell pier. I mean, Mizium skin. Okay. Didn't expect that. Not gonna lie. So I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. 
Okay, well. Interesting. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. Okay, this card's pretty cool. I never knew this card existed. <sighs> okay, um, I like Ritual. I like just kind of all the removal here. I don't think this is a Bravey Elements game. And... I can cut a Legion Angel. They're, eh, I mean, they're always fine to, like, kind of draw. Excuse me. So maybe I just kind of always watching. That guy got big really fast, so I just need to find removal spells early. That's what these heroic decks are about. You just kind of try to kill them on your own turn. Yeah, that was a pretty clutch medium skin. You'll have to see it. No, you see a guard approach, though. If it was you see a guard approach, I would have died instantly at some any point, so... Maybe if my opponent's watching, they can figure that out. Um, uh, this is a mulligan for me, I think. I think what a mulligan. I need to find, like, a... This is the hand's better. I can keep this. I think I'm going to bend the always watching, though. It doesn't really work out with Retribution. That was a multiply for my opponent, by the way. That was crazy. Keep. Very extreme. If they have, like, Perot, okay, okay. This thing, this thing, like, flips and he should, okay. Why well, read Dawnbringer? Alrighty. This guy is not as big of a deal, I don't think. Okay, that's a pretty good card. They have a lot of protection so far, so I might have to just kill this thing. Okay, this ramps to the Lyra, so. I'm gonna play this. And yeah, maybe if I have enough life more than my opponent, they will, I will win. That's how magic works. Yes, I know. That's how magic works. This is a good setup for the retribution as well. Okay, they found the Drake. I think they might be. I hey, got too slow for Lyra, though. We'll see. Next turn, I can, like, Heartless Act and Retribution, I guess. It's that Vigilance, though, so it's a little unfortunate. But, I mean, I'm coming in no matter what. <laughs> okay, another Savior. So, this, this guy's protected. Oh, all the dudes. Okay, very, okay, this is an interesting suite of creatures. But nothing compares to Bane Slayer number two. Okay, coming in with the Lyra. Um, I'm just going to bring the Wall of Omens over Holding Heartless Act. They have so many of these selfless saviors that I think all I really need to do is block. Okay. And I could start shooting. I could start shooting the Selva Saviors with these Furges. I could Heartless Act one, shoot another. Yeah. Also, I'm about to gain a ton of life. So even if they could, like, kind of go off here, I, I don't think they could really get through this. Okay, I drew another Retribution, which I'm just going to slam. I'll attack first so they can't really get a chance to kind of kill this. Okay, um, I'll shoot a dog here. Because I don't know how they're going to win next turn, but we'll see. Because I have a lot of, like, neat tricks here. Okay, they're going to Grip Spoon this thing. Try to draw out of this. I am at 35, so even if I get a big hit here, I mean, I don't, don't think they can really do anything. All right. Slam Angels win. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm trying to do here. Let's run it back. 
Their hand was a bit slow, so who knows. Um, sure, I can keep this. Alright, this is a very, like, I thought this would be more, like, heroic -y, but they're kind of in this weird sort of, like, space where they just kept, like, sticky creatures. I think they mulligan again. So this is a very interesting, like, selection of creatures. Okay, that's... Bold, because I'm just gonna heartless act it now because I can't let them draw a bunch of cards. I mean, they could have like I don't want to let them untap blue, so I think I just want to kill this. They might just play a creature, of course. It's a savior. Um, that's so annoying. So I think I'm just gonna ramp up to the Orzov signet and then drop the angel. Angel's good at blocking here, I could just get another angel. That was a bit annoying. But the one other card was the self saver, so I didn't get to draw another card. But again, the angel just kind of get through. I'm surprised they didn't attack with the savior there. You don't really need to like have it untapped to use the ability. Okay, all the doggies, all the good boys. All right, I'm gonna slam this legion angel here. Find another one from my sideboard. Yes, I would love to draw another angel. These are pretty sweet. They're just like cobblade esque cards. Let's you just grind out some things. And always just ensures that you're going to get another one for the most part. So that's kind of nice. Ethereal armor. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to need to start killing things. First strike is pretty big. Like, I'm going to take that. I need to draw a Ritual of Soot. I mean, the self Savior is still pretty good against that, but Ritual would be kind of nice. They could just save a bunch of their things. Bane Slayer Angel. That's a, that's a big girl. We're going to play the Bane Slayer Angel. I'm going to hold back, though, until I can drop the Always Watching. I too at first strike now. What have you? Okay. I rule the skies. Me. I rule the skies. Lands are good here. Uh, I think there's another signet. And I can play always watching and hold up Heartless Act for something. Watching's been so good, actually. With, especially with the Revolution, too. Retribution. I did it again! Okay. But yeah, being, like, this is stats. Stats on stats here. This is a dragon? Oh, it's a Drake. Oh. I, I forget the last thing, Demons and Dragons. It's kind of a rel... It's semi-relevant. Okay, so they don't really have, like, blockers here. I mean, they have one blocker, but it's not a great blocker for them. I'm gonna start killing these... No, I don't want to actually kill anything. But I guess they could always just, like, use it whenever they feel like. Okay, they've really just run out of things to do. I kind of just want to wait until I can kind of get rid of this. But I keep attacking. I can attack right through it. The Legion Angel finds another angel, so I have things to do. At least I still have things to do. Interesting attack. I think I'll take it. Um, okay, we're on angels now. I guess I could get the other one. I mean, I will get the other one to play it. So. Don't have another one in my graveyard. 
unfortunately. No. This kind of just sets up a lethal attack in the air, so they only have, like, one card. I mean, I guess they could, like, Selfless Savior, sack this, make a thing, block. It's still 10, so they really only have, like, one flyer. Like, they're trying to make this into a disturb thing, but, I mean, I'm just going to take it. It's not, like, a big deal. Okay, another Shap Lane. It's unfortunate. All right. Make another thing. And yeah, I don't see how they could win from here. So I'm just going to attack with everyone. They could make two flyers, but it still doesn't matter. I don't think. Alright. Sort of target creature with no counters on it. They do it again, I just kill it again. Beautiful. This is still use like this is still like feeble effort, because they still couldn't block everything, so. Alright, sweet. 4-0, oh, huh? Alright, got another match with the Black White Angels list on the play. Pretty great. Um, I think it's kind of rough. I'm going to mulligan. I really like Signet into stuff, which is this is a great hand to keep. Um, let me spin the watching here. I could have done double Signet, but it does give me the five mana. The deck is okay. Like, I don't think it's like groundbreaking or anything. Okay, another blue white deck. But yeah, it's so far it's been fine. I think like. I think it's just fine to have, like, a solid deck in the very beginning, but I don't think this is this any sort of groundbreaking sort of deck. <laughs> Next time I'm going to take the Angel, get another Angel. Good, they're tapping out. Boomerang, that's not good. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess I'll play the other Signet. And these kinds of decks, I guess you just have to, like, try to get ahead as much as you can. Even though they bounce the Shambling Vent again, I have untapped lands now. Darn it. They got me again. Mismatch boomerangs. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm going to slam the angel here. Get another one. Maybe I should have like a 3 1 or a 1 3 split. I'm not really sure. I think 2 is fine. But this, this card's actually been pretty good. I, was, I wasn't like super sure about it, but it's actually been not bad. What is this? Giga Drows. Okay. This deck does not want me to do anything, apparently. It's totally fine. Ooh, it drew all of omens. Uh, Exhaustion. Okay, I think there's sort of some sort of turns deck here. Um, hmm. Well, I can't activate the Signet without a land. But I want to play the Shambling Vent. It's kind of a funny situation where Satan doesn't do anything. Um, I think I'll just play the Shambling Vent. So where do you go from here when you're taking a bunch of turns? You need a bunch of, like, Howling Mind effects, right? Orm's Champ, sure. But I get to play my land, at least. It's like adding a creature on the board. 
See, like, this is the part. Now they're at two cards. They don't have any, like, card drawing engines online. At least, this is the Dictate. Dictate's not bad, but it will get to Vindicate it. I don't have any, like, enchantment removal. Like, I have Vindicates. That's pretty much all I have, so. But the rest is will be fine, I think. Let's see if they have a Counterspell for me. Or another, like, Giga Drowse or something. I don't know if we can Giga Drowse enough stuff here. I get the draw a card. Lyra is kind of a cool one. Okay, I'm gonna vindicate this thing. Um, I'll slam the Lyra, sure. It's gonna get countered. Oh, if they, I mean, if they didn't counter the the other thing, why would they counter this? Okay. Hiya. This is a quick clock, though. I mean, always watching is pretty big. The Lyra's, the, the Angel thing. Day of Judgment. Good Day of Judgment. But, Creature Lands, that's what they're here for. Exhaustion. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> this deck is exhausting. Alright. Gravy Elements. Hasn't been really great so far. Maybe it's the first cut. Alright. They're out of stuff. I think they're out of stuff. I will... See if they're out of stuff. Can I do enough lands here? No, I can really only activate one. Um. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here is play the Signet. I didn't really do the math on this, by the way. Uh, play the Angel. Get another Angel. Maybe that's enough. Do we have a Counterspell for this? Memory Lapse. Okay. Um... Well, I'll just play Always Watching, then. This way, the Shamley Rents can kind of get in. I think they had to read that. Alright, one card to draw here. They're not really doing much. Unless they have an Orange Chant. Orange Chant is a big draw. Okay. I'm going to play the Wall of Omens first. Angel of Invention. Um... Huh. My math here. I think I just play the Legion Angel out. And then get the other Angel, and then play the Angel of Invention, and probably kill them. Okay, get the last one. They have Day Jojen, though. It's going to be kind of annoying, but that's why I'm kind of just holding back here. No. Technically, it is lethal. I have lethal on board, so I'm not actually add the angel dimension. It's not a big deal. Hmm. So I think in this instance, I think. Um, the servos make more do more damage, I think. We have another lapse. Wow. Okay. Um. Well, guess I can just get in. And then play the wall of omens. Vigilance. Such a thing. Ooh, land draw is big for me, not for them. All right, uh, make some servos. I think that's more damage. I didn't do the math, obviously. That'll work. Okay. Look at this beefy wall of omens. Okay. Kind of ran out of stuff. They didn't have any of their draw engines available, so it didn't seem like uh, they could get going. That's that's what they need. They need the early, like, Howling Mind effects. So I think the rest is going to be pretty good. I don't always like any of the removal here. Mm. 
Mind Shatter seems good. I don't really have, like, discard effects, really. Vindicate's just fine. Then he's catch-all again. I, I think the big thing about this deck is just uh, getting rid of all those, um, just all those, like, uh, Howling Mind effects. So I do want Vindicate still. Brave Elements has not been good. <laughs> this is not a Brave Elements matchup. I, I have to say that. Maybe I play Silent Graves. I don't think it's really good. I don't think this is good either. I don't think they do anything like that, so... We will see. Because as long as my game playing kind of works out, I don't know. Um, I think it's a bit slow. I'm going to keep, though. We'll see how hard I get punished. I need to draw a land. Or a signet. Okay, they mulligan the five. But they get a scry. Again, I'd love a signet or just a land. Land drop in general. Vindicate's a nice one. I I can't I don't want to get boom. I'm gonna probably get boomerang though. Oh no, we're not. Okay. The beginning of the game, boomerang is just kind of devastating here. Even the exhaustion right now be kind of annoying. Okay, they're gonna ponder. I guess if nothing happens, I get to play the always watching. I guess I could lapse it though. The Ops is probably a better counter spell than like something like a lose focus in this deck. Because you just want to like time walk people constantly. I really wonder how they're gonna kill me though. That's the real question. This could be a big Giga Drows. Okay, um, huh, well, I guess I'll just run up the revolution, retribution, I almost did it, I almost did it there. Who's counting? Are you guys counting at home? How many times have I said it wrong? Alright, good stern dismissal. <laughs> the dictate. Two cards left, I, I, I do have to nuke that, so I'll probably just go shambling bent nuke. Unfortunately, I can't play an Angel here. I thought about playing Sarah Avenger. It would be good in this spot, but... Um, I don't know. Maybe Sarah Avenger would be pretty good. I could play that probably over the Bravey Elements. I do need kind of, like, cheap Angels. Exhaustion. Exhaustion's a good one. That's a really good one. I love this combo, the, the Burgess Retribution. Okay. Great combo I got here. This could be where they turn the corner, though. This is kind of bad. There's a Howling Mine, so now it's getting a little worse. Now they can start chaining their things. Orm Chant, Cat Cat, Space Spells. But I do have this uh, Shambling Mint to kind of get in. Draw a bunch of cards. This is really bad, because like my deck's like really sorcery speed. And it's just like really bad. Mm. Yeah, this is definitely where they're gonna try to turn the corner, but I'm gonna keep playing. We don't give up here. I get to draw cards too. They forget that. <laughs> Mind Shatter, the big one. But I gotta vindicate some things first. Okay. Just run all this out. Okay. They hit that more. They have another one. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. I guess. What does Mind Shatter going to resolve? Hmm. 
Which mana can I pump into Mind Shatter? A lot, but it looks like they're going to Orb Chant me. They're going to Giga Drowse me. This is the unfortunate part of my deck where everything is Sorcery Speed for the most part. Okay. I'd love to draw a Duress. I think they le I think they can't tap everything, but um, I'd love to just get left like a Duress so I can just kind of like figure some things out. Okay. Oh, extra card. Wall of Omens is a reasonable draw. I'm going to leave my black open here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, the cut here. Oh, cut a Legion Angel. This is still pretty tough, but I mean, I am drawing extra cards. Obviously, I get hit with like a Orm's Chant or another Giga Drowse. Giga Drowse is pretty big. Ugh. I have no Flash Angels. Where's my Flash Angel? Where's... Oh, there are good Flash Angels, actually, in white. I think Angels... I think this is a deck where I need, like, Angel Sanctions, but it doesn't have Flash. There's that one Angel that, like, gives something, like, indestructible while it's in play. Or is that an Angel? I don't even know what it is. I think there's, like, Flash Angels. I'm just looking it up while this happens. Angel of Great... No, that's not the one I was thinking of. There's some flash thing that gives, like, indestructible. It's not an angel, but it'd be... I don't know. Okay. Um... I could play something. I guess I should play something. I just got Giga Drow, so it's not a big deal. Okay. Eevee Wall of, wall of Omens. Oh, you know what? Actually, Shalai is pretty great against um, Orm's Chant, but they can keep Giga drowsing me. Just, I mean, I'm eventually gonna make land drops, so they can't. I have more lands that they can Giga drowse, so, so it's not like the end of the world. So eventually, I'll I'll just come ahead here, but I need to resolve the Shalai, because then that stops a lot of random cards. Like, I can't get Exhaustion, I can get Orms Chanted. Okay. Ooh, good dress. Um, Day of Judgment, Cranial Archive. Interesting. I don't think Day of Judgment is actually very good against me, although it does stop the Shalai. Cranial Archive is interesting because um, it will kind of reset their deck. So, I mean, they're they're going to catch us probably like elixir and that. I'm not like, I'm not really scared of the day of judgment. So I'm gonna take care of the archive here. So their hand's not it's a pretty subpar hand. I can like I, I can set the mind shatter here, so it's not a big deal. So if they don't have like a thing here, I mean, their hand's like two cards, two unknowns. Okay, they found Norm's chant. Amazing. Um, this time I'm going to discard the Orzhov Signet. I mean, I have plenty of lands. <sighs> Wish I kept some of those always watchings. Okay, Jace Bolaren. That's a win con, I suppose. Each player draws. Howling Mine, okay. I don't know if I can, like, Mind Shatter my way through this. But we'll see. Hmm. Okay. Um, I do have to Mind Shatter them. I need to get rid of this Day Judgment, because I need to kill them at some point. Although, I could just attack this Jace. I think I could Maybe you're able to do everything. Hold on. Six mana. 
Yeah, I need to mine shard. I think this is the turn where I need to do it. No, it's not. That's too much mana. Um, it's five mana to mine sh mine shatter them here. This is just to get rid of a day judgment, which is kind of insane. At least I'm like up a game, so it's like not a huge thing. And I'm gonna drop the Shalai on them. I think even if they counter this, I think they're. I guess they're memory lapsing it. It's kind of annoying. Boomerang. Okay. We will add a black. Put a discard there. Lane the day of judgment. Um Okay, I'll play this land. Did I play a land already? I did. So I guess I'm gonna drop the Shalai on them. Um I don't have any other thing to play. Yeah, okay. Now they can't target me with all some of this nonsense. Um, yeah, that's sad. I have to discard some Bane Slayers. They're kind of slow here. So I can't get exhaustion now. I can't get more enchanted. They can still target with the Jace. I might have to kill the Jace actually. They could still Giga Drowse, so that's still a thing. Hmm, there's another Shalai. Should I play the Shambling Man here? Um. Yeah, let's let's go after the Jace first. Oh, they have a boomerang. That's annoying. Okay. Kind of punishment for not going after a... Uh... They should have actually, like, maybe... Maybe played a Orm's Chant there to kind of, like, prevent all this. Let's go with the Furge's Revolution. Retribution? No, I did it again. Um, I think I'm good on lands now. I <laughs> just have tons of angels in play. I'm not really worried about, like, killing them, because if the Retribution stays online, then I just kill them with a double strike. Okay, that's pretty good. Day Judgment. Again, I have another Shalai, though, so it's totally fine. I, I think I have to kill this Jace still. I still think I have to kill the chase. Okay, now they get to okay, now the exhaustion up online. Oh, this is so exhausting. <laughs> it really is exhausting. Drawing is kind of a real thing here, where it's like drawing is kind of bad, but I kinda of do need to do things. So I guess I'll just play the signet. I do need mana eventually. But I, so I get to discard the wall of omens. Okay. Wonder if they have another like elixir sort of thing. Like something like a clear the mind or something that shuffle their graveyard back into their thing. Kinda sick. They've walked the Aeons, okay. Maybe I should play Silent Gravestone. It's probably better than Bravey Elements. Um, at least like Nukes Graveyards for like four mana. And it's something instant to do. Especially if they're like when conditions like Cranial Archive or just decking me in general. I might be dead though. I, I I might be dead. They're drawing so many cards here. This is draw twenty. Okay. Mills twenty. Okay. They're close. How many Orms chants are in this deck? 
Okay. I feel like they played seven. No, it's only the second one. Third. It's the third one. Okay. Any indestructible stuff? These day jumps have been kind of good against me. This is, this is close. Boomerang. Boomerang, they're dictate. Interesting. Boomerang. So they're done drawing cards, I guess. Uh, let's see. This. Just discard this. I'll discard this. I don't know. I don't know what I'm discarding at this point. I don't think it really matters. Okay. To think I'm dead. Okay, they're just trying to get to this point, I guess. But I can, like, shambling vent it. So they, they have one more... I mean, they have a Giga... I mean... They have, like, one more orange chant to draw, I guess, before they can kill me, right? So if they draw, I guess they die. Okay, this is fine. Not fine, but... A long one. Alright. To game three. So that was that's what happens when they kind of get all their things online. I'm going to play the sound of gravestones over the baby elements. I think it'll just be a bit better. Just nuking their graveyard a bit. At least it stops the Crino archive stuff. It's not very good, obviously, but I think it's good enough. It's the only thing I, I can do, so I think it'll be fine. I wish I had more disenchants, but it is what it is. I definitely want disenchants. <laughs> Posture check here. Sure, I'll keep. <laughs> I'll keep triple vindicate, I guess. It's hard to stop eight howling mines. I could new plans. That'd be. Fairly aggressive. Okay. I was hoping for a signet there, but this is fine. Hopefully just drop a howling mine and just hope that's enough. I could also just vindicate a land. Let's see what I get here. I don't want to get memory lapse, but at the same time, this might be a good enough play. They're very blue based, so okay. Let's try this stone rain game. Ooh, double white. I get the orb chanted. Sure. Okay, I can't play that because I got orb chanted. Okay, nice. Um, let's just keep or let's just keep stone raining them. Because I have nothing better to do. <laughs> Okay. Sure. I just want to make a land drop. That's all I want to do. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's go for the jugular here. If I draw a land here, Bane Slayer is pretty good. Angel's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Wow. They did not get lucky there. <laughs> That was just unlucky for them. But I don't I don't know what they kept. No idea there. What's up guys? Your boy Jimmy here back with the final thoughts of the uh black white interest list. Five and O is an incredibly reasonable record. Um but you know, in the early seasons, like this is kinda what you could just kinda roll up with a random brew and just kinda five O. Is it that good? Eh, I don't know. Angels are fun. It's fun. I think it's fun. I didn't, think, I didn't really like Bravey Elements. I don't think this is necessary. I want to try Sarah Avenger. I think Sarah Avenger could be really good as another sort of like thing to do. So I'm actually going to put that in here. It's like a cheap thing. But if you want to do late game, I'll add some now. 
I didn't get to play any graveyard decks. I didn't get to like kind of cheese them with some of the other cards. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Deck was fine. It wasn't like amazing or anything. But I think like I think it kind of goes to show you that the early game, the early season, pay dreadfuls pretty open. You kind of do whatever you want, and you shouldn't be deterred by what you think is scary. Just play, play what you want, and. Try the plan for whatever, you know, my, my sideboard's incredibly basic, you know, some graveyard hate, some removal, some anti-control stuff, some grindy stuff. But it's just like a baseline thing. I wish I had, obviously, I wish I had, like, disenchants for that last match, but, yeah, it's just, you just, you get an idea and you just play it. I don't know. I think a lot of people just kind of get, like, worried that, like, oh, there's this deck and there's this deck, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, Just play. It's the, early, it's the beginning of the season, just kind of do what you want. Play a bunch of 5-drops. Play a bunch of clunky 5-drops in the 4-drops. Like, I will say that, like, the Retribution was pretty sweet. When everything lined up, I thought it was really good. I actually really like Legion Angel a lot. I, I didn't think this card would be any good, but it's actually really good. Shalai was really good. Um, I think it just sucked to be anything, like I said. But Sarah Adventure, I'm going to try it, just because it's, like, cheap, and you could vindicate Sarah Adventure or something, if you, as long as you hit your curve. I'm a non, though, with the uh, Ritual of Soot, but... I don't know. I, I we need cheap. I need cheap angels somewhere, and it's not like cheap, cheap, but it is cheap. <laughs> that makes any sense. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Um, everything else felt okay. Mind Shatter was mm, okay. I, it could be duress. I could just be duress or something. But <laughs> it's just find it funny to play Mind Shatter. Um, but yeah, it's fun. Deck's more fun. I would say more fun than good. But it plays solid cards, and that's what you kind of want out of a brew. You just want to play some solid cards and a bunch of 5-drop missing. <laughs> that's, all. that's all you want to do. As long as your 5-drops are mythics, then you're good to go. But yeah. 5-0 with the Angels, but you know, what do you, What can I say? I think, some, I think I got a little lucky along the ways, but it's early in the season. Just, you know, play out your memes, do whatever, have fun. And then in a week, everything will shake out for the kickoff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, and I will see you when I see you. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe too.